Bobby Brown is speaking out and is launching an investigation as his daughter fights for her life in hospital. A bombshell coming from Bobby Brown as his daughter remains in a coma. The musician's lawyer claims that Bobby Christina is not married to Nick Gordon, even though the couple claims they said I do more than a year ago. That means Gordon could be locked out from any inheritance if Bobby Christina doesn't pull through. There's word the 21-year-old daughter of the late Whitney Houston has been transferred to a different hospital in Atlanta for continued treatment after she was found over the weekend unresponsive in a bathtub. Meanwhile, a grim anniversary looms. Exactly one one week from today marks three years since Houston's death. A meeting has been set. A trap is always a possibility, but in this case, it's worth the risk. The critically acclaimed Cold War spy series The Americans is back on FX for its third season, and you can catch up on seasons one and two now on Show Me. Our Brad Smith caught up with the stars of the must-see show. Why is this such a binge watch-worthy show? It's like sort of you know, a 13-hour movie. I recruited somebody, a colonel in Air Force Intelligence who works in the anti-ballistic missile program. I don't usually get to play these parts. It's so fun to not be the charming, like, nice pregnant mom or when something. Did you, when did you play that part? <laughs> <laughs> well, you should be heading home soon. I'd stay out of my way if I were you. Catch an all-new episode of The Americans tonight on FX. I want Empire to be here long after I'm gone. Two real-life music stars are headed to TV's newest smash hit, Empire. Jennifer Hudson and Rita Ora will reportedly play themselves in the drama about a rap mogul family. Empire airs Wednesdays on Omni. All right, the Grammys are almost here. Our Brad Smith is in L.A. for a pre-party honoring a music legend. But first, two pop stars and a Beatle join the stellar list of Grammy performers. I think I've had enough. Might get a little drunk. Three music superstars will be bringing their brand new single to the Grammy stage. Rihanna, Kanye West, and Paul McCartney have signed on to perform Four or Five Seconds. Yeah, I'm a four or five seconds from Wiley. As the countdown to music's big night heats up, Brad is at the center of the pre party fun. Grammy week is officially underway, and we're here at the producers and engineers wing honoring Nile Rodgers, three-time Grammy award winner. Now he's done everything in music, from disco hits like La Freak to working with such great artists like Diana Ross, Madonna, and so many more. There's so much to be celebrated. Now we caught up with Nile himself, plus a lot of stars who stopped by to show their support. Aww, La Freak, so she. Freak out. Uh, da -da -da -da. Hi, Canada. I don't do music to win awards. I do music because I love it. In excess, Duran Duran, Madonna. What was your fondest memories about working with her on Like a Virgin? Oh, Madonna's like the most awesome person in the world to work with because there's no one more driven. Rogers was shocked to learn the latest Madonna news. The singer's entire new album, Rebel Heart, just leaked online a month and a half before it was supposed to drop. Really? Yeah. Wow. Did you ever get your disco funk on listening to Chic? I did get my disco funk on. Chic is going to be grouping. It just came out today on Rolling Stone that they're actually going to uh, regroup after 20 years. That's together. shit. I they think shit. Are they bringing like disco funk back? Hey, I'll take it. You know, they just let you know the staying power of the music. Now this is just the beginning of our Celeb Pack Grammy Week coverage. Join us tomorrow on BT. We'll have coverage from the Grammy in the Schools live party where Hunter Hayes will be in attendance. That's it for me here in L.A. Back to you guys. Okay, thank you, Brad. And remember, you can always find the latest entertainment headlines on Twitter, at NCity. Canada, what up? All the stars, all the parties, all week long. <laughs> Life is just tough, party after party. Entertainment City's exclusive Canadian coverage of the Grammys. An exclusive Canadian interview. This week, only on Breakfast Television. And it all leads to this. Oh, you full you. frontal. Oh, the I love you so much. Live. Am I looking in there? From. Hello, Canada. Music's biggest night. Be at your television set early. Entertainment City, live at the Grammys, Sunday, February 8th.